I call on you into our police stand for the stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation <coughs> following. <coughs> Excuse me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. Amen. Roll call, please. Allen. Here. Green. LaFour. Here. Mistrovich. Here. Ricks. Here. Warren. Here. Yark. Folks, we excuse uh, Jeff Yark from tonight's meeting for being out of town. So moved. Support. What's been made and support? Is there any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? <coughs> motion does pass. We move on to approval of minutes for the City Council meeting of October 3rd. Is there a motion? Motion. Support. support. What's been made and supported? Is there any discussion on these minutes? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move to audience comments and any non-agenda items. I believe the, you're on the agenda this evening, so we will move along. Adoption of agenda, Mr. City Manager? No changes. Okay. Is there a motion to accept the agenda as presented? Motion. Support. What's been made and support. Any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion then made and supported. Is there, there is no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration, which we have two this uh, evening. The first one being consideration of special event request, Bark for Life. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider a special event request from the American Cancer Society for a, bike for a Bark for <laughs> Life event. They would like to utilize a portion of BB Street Park on uh, Sunday, October 30th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, April Bush is here tonight uh, to answer any questions from the American Cancer Society. Uh, this event, uh, families and their uh, dogs come together for a few hours during the day to complete a one-mile walk around the hike bike path in BB Park uh, in honor of the caregiving qualities of their canine best friends and cancer survivors. Uh, at their October 4th meeting, the Recreation Board uh, did recommend that Council approve this event. Would you like to address Council? Either of you or both of you? Uh, good evening. My name is Chris Reddick. I'm a community manager uh, with, for the American Cancer Society Relay for Life, and April Bush is also a community manager. Uh, so we both staff um, different communities around this area, and so we've decided you know, to join forces. This is a community that we really have not had a lot of outreach in before, and it's you know, a really beautiful downtown, a uh, really beautiful park, and we really want, we're really excited about this opportunity to uh, bring the American Cancer Society, um, you know, some outreach to the Richmond area and allow, you know, you don't get a lot of opportunities to bring dogs. I mean, dogs and pets are a big part of caregivers, like a big part of survivors' journeys through cancer. You know, your pets are really there for you, so we're excited to have that opportunity. And then being, you know, the day before Halloween, we also think this is a really great family-friendly event, and it's going to be Halloween-themed. Um, so we're, you know, really excited to try this out and uh, really look forward to it. you have any questions for us? you have having a uh, costume? Yeah, there's going to be an adult, child, and canine costume contest. <laughs> 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 Very good. And uh, is there a couple of categories or something I think I read about? Was there something else that you were doing? We're going to also be doing some um, uh, dog obstacle course, some games, and just a lot of you know, family-friendly fall Halloween-themed activities. Great, great. Council, have any questions? Oh, I think you covered it. Thank you much. All right, thank you. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve the American Cancer Society Bark for Life event in BB Street Park Sunday on October 30th, 2016 from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. Support. What's been made and supported. Discussion? 
I just think it's another great event to bring in the community and yeah. bring more people in the community and, and have exciting things for people to do. Okay. In the motions from 8 to 2, the 8 o'clock is set up. The event starts at 10 a.m. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, we're glad you're here. Uh, we used to have a large Relay for Life when it first got going, the 24-hour marathon. Um, and those, those were good times, but I, I think you found a new way of getting people to participate, especially with their animals, and that's great. Yeah. We're, glad you're, we're glad you guys came here, because we, we like to do things like this, too. Uh, it's great. Very, very good. Now, how will you advertise this? Is there... Um, so we actually today um, got to go around the city of Richmond a little bit, um, into the businesses, putting posters up. Um, our volunteers in Romeo Chesterfield and New Baltimore are also promoting this in their areas. Uh, social media, we, um, The Voice reached out to April and so we got, um, made some comments to them and that should be, I think, in this week's edition or early next week. Um, and that might also, they said that it might also be picked up by the Macomb Daily. Uh, and then, you know, we have our three events, um, you know, the list of participants that have come to the Chesterfield, New Baltimore, and Romeo relays, so are also, we're able to reach out to them through email uh, to promote this event. Great. Great. We're going to have the uh, bathrooms open. I would yeah. imagine they'll yep. still. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. I normally that's right around the time when we start to winterize yeah, things. But yeah. with an event being in the park, we'll make sure to have them Good. that will Good. hold off. The price still be eighty degrees. <laughs> I think it is today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> they might have to reopen the pool. <laughs> we'll set the record. Today. Yeah. Any other comments? Okay. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. We hope for good weather. Thank Anything you, you can do, need, contact the city manager, and I'm sure he'll be right there to help you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Moving on to item number two, consideration of EDC appointment. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider making an appointment to the EDC. Uh, the term for Jamie Green had expired uh, in July, and before you tonight is her application for reappointment. I would ask that uh, the council would reappoint Jamie uh, to the EDC for the six-year term. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to reconfirm the mayor's reappointment of Jamie Green to the EDC for a six-year term with the expiration date of July 1st, 2022. Support. What's been made and supported? Discussion? She's been on that board for 12 years already. <laughs> It's time to fly. Long term on the six year term. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we thank Jamie for throwing her hat back in the ring there. It is another monthly uh, commitment uh, besides her duties here as a councilwoman. So, appreciate her effort. Any other discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. We go on to city manager's comments, sir. Uh, just that uh, it's been a little bit of a delay, but the uh, Pound Road, the sewer work is completed, and uh, kind of the rescheduling of the wearing course is for uh, the week of October 25th. Uh, all of the uh, festival uh, television programming is up on our YouTube channel at this point. Uh, so there's several events and a couple new ones that are on our uh, Richmond TV 12 on YouTube. And uh, the subcontractors for Comcast have run the cabling from Division Road underneath uh, our, the front yard here at City Hall and into the building, into the server room. Uh, so now we're waiting just for the equipment installation at both the, uh, our server room and then uh, the corresponding area down at Comcast and we'll be able to get going on our, on our Channel 6. And then uh, just a reminder, this coming Saturday is the Running with the Devils 5K. Thank you, sir. And that is at the school. Is that correct. correct. That, that begins at the school, I believe, uh, right there by the football field in the yeah. bathrooms. Okay, great. Okay, moving on to council comments. Yes? I just want to uh, congratulate everybody with all the activities going on at the schools. And I think you'll uh, you finish up uh, on the football team there. <laughs> and so choose. So other than that, I'm good to go. Emily? Nothing tonight. Thank you. John? Nothing. 
Michael? Nothing either, no? I've got a couple of things. <laughs> um, <clears throat> some of us were able to make the uh, grand opening for the EMS groundbreaking. I shouldn't say grand opening. Groundbreaking for the EMS complex, their three, new $3 million complex. That's very, very exciting. And of course, uh, the city was thanked uh, by the uh, uh, EMS and also the uh, uh, Richmond Township Supervisor had come and let me know that how pleased they also were that the City of Richmond extended uh, the use of the city old City Hall uh, at no charge uh, until they get their new hall built or until such time somebody uh, can come up with the money to buy it. <laughs> but uh, we're not pushing that for now. But uh, that was very nice and she wanted to let everybody know how happy she is uh, that we can all work together. Um, also, uh, we had a great open house. Uh, the Richmond Volunteer Fire Department did a nice job of uh, having an open house. It was a great breakfast. A um, little wet, but um, that didn't seem to dampen too many of the spirits. Uh, it was still a, a good crowd there, and uh, the food was uh, good. And, uh, it was a great, great day. Too bad it wasn't sunny out. It would have made it even a better day, but as it was, it was a great day. Um, we also, uh, there's been talk about uh, around town and, and it was shown, we did buy the, the new fire uh, truck, the, the new 1993 fire truck that has extremely low hours and low miles on it and uh, the guys are all excited about it over there. They've got it outfitted, it, uh, it's ready to go already. So um, we uh, were in business and we paid cash and that was nice. Yes. Uh, and, and Mr. Mayor, uh, when we approved that at the table, council approved that, um, there was also discussion about the possibility of needing a generator. They were able to get the generator off the old rescue and onto the new truck. So uh, that's going to save the city yeah. money as well. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, just it was a, a timing was perfect uh, for the boys to be up at Ross Common and find that truck. And I heard the story that uh, the truck was sitting there and the guy that is with the company wasn't. They had to go find him and, and they, they uh, finally found him and went out and started talking about the truck. So it, uh, it was great that they went back after it. It was meant to be, I think, <coughs> <laughs> it seems like. So, um, we go to the uh, calendar. Today being the 17th of October, the City Council will have a quarterly workshop at 6 o'clock tomorrow, the 18th. That workshop is right here at City Hall and, and it, as always is open to the public. The, this Thursday the 20th, Friday the 21st and Saturday the 22nd, the uh, Lewis Wagner Public Library will be having their book sale from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the 20 and 21st and Saturday is what they call bag day and that's on the 22nd. That will start at 10 o'clock in the morning and last until 2 o'clock and I believe you actually fill a bag with as many books as you can and it's one one very inexpensive price. Correct. Um, but it's a great fundraiser for our uh, library and we hope everybody can get over there to do that. Uh, we will be um, having a TIFA meeting on the 26th at 7 o'clock right here at City Hall and on the 27th, there is a streetscape meeting. We are still actively, uh, uh, we have a committee that is active, very active on pursuing the streetscape ideas that have been in the works for a number of years. And then of course, uh, tonight we passed uh, on the event, which is the Bark for Life. That's gonna be on the 30th at BB Park from 10 till two. Halloween in Richmond will be uh, celebrated on Halloween night, the 31st, from 6 to 8 o'clock. Fire whistles will blow and let people know when it starts. The fire whistles will blow again when it stops at 8 o'clock. And we get into November. And our next regular scheduled meeting is November 7th for the City Council right here at City Hall. And that's it. Is there anything else we need to add to the calendar tonight? Uh, just to go along with the Halloween, the fire hall will be open uh, during that time. Uh, we'll have the candy check there from the police department, and the uh, fire department's always there with treats for the kids, too. Yeah. And the Good Old Days Festival Committee will also be uh, set up there again this year uh, with the treats. Okay. 
Uh, is there any other business of the City Council this evening? I think we just need to congratulate the football team for winning the oh, game. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm sorry. Dennis, you led me to that and I forgot all about it. Yes. Yeah, your grandson is the quarterback. So Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, they, they had a great game against Algonac. Uh, they were the underdogs, according to the newspapers. And uh, they went in there and played a great game. Everybody, uh, they just gelled. The whole team gelled. Um, it was a fantastic game. And uh, we were definitely the, uh, the big winners there. And that was the uh, BWAC championship. And now we, uh, we will be in the playoffs. Uh, next week we play um, Luther North on Friday night away. And then uh, after that game, it will determine, I believe it's Friday night home. It's home. It, oh, it, Luther North is home? Yes. Oh, I've got it written down wrong. OK, great. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this coming Friday is home. 7 o'clock game at Richmond High School. Uh, there, there's an excitement. Uh, you come to the games. Uh, uh, and, and by the way, if you're uh, a senior citizen, they're free. So it's a great night out. There's plenty of room to sit. Um, and uh, it's a good time. You really get into the spirit of uh, uh, the schools, Richmond, the Blue Devils, the kids, uh, just the, the band. Everybody is uh, uh, really brings the spirit to Richmond uh, at the at the football games. So good luck to the Blue Devils and, and uh, the coaches and uh, everybody else. So looking forward to another win. Okay, is there any other business other than <coughs> that? Being that, a motion to adjourn be in order. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion been made and supported. There's no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion passes. Thanks for being with us.